this is a tutorial on how to read check engine light codes on a 1995 Dodge Stealth or a 3, Mitsubishi 3000 GT. So the thing about these cars is they have a uh, diagnostic port right here. This one right here. And it seems to fit an OBD2, but it's actually a MUT2 system, which is like some kind of weird Mitsubishi made system, I'm pretty sure. And um, uh, connecting an OBD2 will not get you anywhere. You have to ground pin number one on the uh, port so that your check engine light starts flashing. Otherwise, your check engine light just stays on, but it doesn't flash a coat. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You need a paper clip and a wire. That's all you really need. Get down here. Look for pinhole number one. Be this one right here. Be uh, gentle with it. You don't want to break that. Gets in there. Uh, make sure it's stripped on the other side. And uh, find a ground. For me, I'm using this hole in the firewall right here. I bent it a little. So it hugs it like that. You want to get your key. And uh, start it up. So, uh, mine has to be started up to give the codes because it's a code that only comes up when the car is on. But uh, I've got an issue right now. When it's hot, it won't stay on. So since I already had it on for a while, it uh, it's not going to stay on. But as you can see, my check engine light is now flashing codes. And the way you read this is uh, every long flash counts as a 10. So there we go. It's going to give three flashes. Those count as one. So my code is 53. It's going to restart then. It's one, two, three, four, five. And that's 50. And then three short ones. One, two, three. So the number is 53. That's my code. And uh hope this helps anybody that needs to see this because it took me a while to figure this out. So uh, peace out.